Hello everybody, I am Kidog618, and this is Until Dawn. And this game came out probably... Let's say maybe 10 years ago, initially. This is a remake, and I wasn't able to play it, because I don't have a PlayStation. But I have a PC, and it's on Steam. So here we are. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Ah, oh, yes. I love the butterfly effect. It's so cool in games. Like the so-and-so will remember that thing. It's, I love it. It stresses me out, but I love it. My hair's in my eyes. Get out. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. <laughs> Choose your actions carefully, because everybody could die. Ah, oh, man, I'm excited. I'm so nervous. I played this game in the middle of the ocean on deployment a very long time ago. It's so pretty. I would love to spend a night in that cabin. I bet it's so cold inside. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Am I gonna die? Is he gonna slash me? Did I see him? Is that me? Am I Beth? No, wait. I play as everyone, right? Yeah. Beth, don't do it. I don't remember anything about this game, so everything you see is going to be me not knowing, because I don't remember. What am I doing? What is this? Oh, hello. Moments in the story, you'll be under pressure. Use WASD or the left stick to keep it inside the boundary. Okay. Probably gonna be a bit difficult. If you fail to keep the thing, I'll draw attention to myself. Ah, oh, crap. Hello. Can I pet you? Is that an option? No. No. I did it. Yay! Oh. Bye. It was a nice little moment we just had there. I felt like we were really bonding. What's that? What was that? Oh, it's a picture of her with a heart. Who drew that? Yeah, again, Josh. <laughs> oh, drunk. Alright, let's go put him on to bed. To bed. Taking him upstairs. I'm assuming we're downstairs. Where are we going? Oh, God. Oh, I don't see this anymore. Oh, a couch. Good night, Josh. Happening. Hannah, what are you doing? What's the note say? I want to read the note. What's going on? Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. shh. 
Are we about to prank Hannah? Are we mean? I feel like we're pranking Don't Hannah. You guys think this is a little bit cruel? Little? Oh, if on. we're pranking she her. It. it is not her fault that she has a huge crush on Hannah. Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Is that Emily? Just because so. he's classy uh, yeah. as doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. So we are about to prank him. Her, Hannah. We're about to prank Hannah. <sighs> Who's that guy? Who's let's sleep on the other couch? Chris? That way, when he wakes up, he can keep drinking. Oh, it's this gameplay? Oh, so it is. Showing me over this way. Let's look at this. This feels wonky with a controller. Can I instead do a mouse and keyboard? Feels a bit better. What is this? Grab. And it's been fun hanging out with you. No one gets me like you do. Come find me later. I'll be waiting. Oh no. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? No. Can I go save her before something happens? She looks so excited. Oh crap. Makes me sad. But what are feelings without emotion? Flight tattoo. It's the butterfly effect. Have I made any bad choices already? <laughs> I feel like she wanted to make a move on me already. That one girl. Her. Yeah, that's right. Back up. This is so mean. Speak up, Mike. Be, be the bigger man here, Mike. Mike. There's something, Mike. Hey, Hannah. I got your note. Glad you could make it. Maybe oh. we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Jump in and stop this, or is this about to happen? Whoa, whoa, that is not making out. Oh my god, she's taking her shirt off. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah, hey, honey, don't. It's just a stupid prank, okay?
I'm sorry, Hannah. This all got out of hand. Mike! Damn. You guys are jerks. You know that? You know what? I like Sam. I like Sam so far. Sam seems like the best person here. Uh, let's get Josh up. Status update. Whoa, 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 whoa. My brave went down? Crap. <clears throat> Josh. God damn it, I had a feeling he wouldn't wake up. Hannah! Yeah, all of you shouldn't be out here right now. Only Beth and Sam should be out here. What did you do? Just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Yeah, you tell him, Sam. Tell him. Hannah! Be in here. Hannah! Oh my god. Hannah! 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 Prince, that's a good sign. Wow, that is an insanely strong phone flashlight. Oh my god. I wish my phone flashlight was that strong. Hannah? Are you in the shack? Uh-oh. Is there no cell phone service up here? Is that why I couldn't call her? Hannah? Oh, hi. Hannah! Good, it's the shack that I just saw. Are you in here, Hannah? It's probably cold in there, Hannah. Go and check it out anyways? Okay, yes. Oh, no, I have to make the choice to hold W. Got it. Oh... Hannah. Working. Can I go in? Oh. Oh my god. What the hell? What? What? What is that about? Okay. Make the correct input. Oh god. Oh no, quick time events on PC are the death of me. Uh, safe. <clears throat> and that better not be Hannah. I'm trying to be good. Uh, follow footprints. Out of you? Jesus! Fuck! Shit! Who is it? Oh, I'm by myself. Damn it, Hannah! Where are you? <clears throat> Hannah! Hannah! What? Oh, I found her. Ah, oh, good. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm so 
dumb. Uh-oh. Let's run. Something's weird. Ow. Come on, Hannah. Oh my god. Oh, all right. Oh my god, how did I get into such a bad situation already? Hey! Oh, you want to help? You know what? Uh, nah, sisters for life. Please tell me I didn't just die twice. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Wow, this is already off to such a terrible start. <laughs> she did last year. Dr. AJ Hill. Who are you? Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Are you like the guy from Men of Madame? You see, no one can change what happened last year. Just like the narrator the type of guy? beyond our control. Okay. You have to accept this in order to move forward. Okay. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play. Yeah, your okay. Game. Same type of guy. Every Same like narrator type of thing. Fate and the fate of those around you. Okay. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Okay. Gonna help me make good choices? Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Feels threatening. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Cool. Could you please pick up a card? Probably. And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Can you use my fears against me? Is it a spider? And then I'll tell you that I'm afraid of spiders, and then there's gonna be spiders in the game. That's... That's not too scary. Okay. So... How did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Do I have choices? It makes me happy or uneasy? I feel a little uneasy with that one. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The feeling of being lost. Is that an option? It's not the scarecrow. If it is something you can't see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? Because I can't know. I don't... Is there something in the house? There could be? No, it's not there. It's in the field. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? In the cornfield. Can it be in the field? <laughs> it's in the field. Wow. I see. Man, I, these are all going to be used against me. <laughs> human, or is there some other fear that you have that you would like to talk to me about? <laughs> I mean, in a cornfield, it would be a human threat. So you think there's a person in this field that is a threat to you? Yes. That's quite intriguing. Oh, well, perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. Thanks, Dr. Hill.
Am I able to thank you? Is that not an option? Oh, goodbye! I'm just sitting here. Alright, bye! So based off of what Dr. Hill said, is there any way for me to have survived that instance in the morning? Or not in the morning, in the prologue. Or did Hannah and Beth have to die? It's probably not a good thing for me, but for now I enjoy the sight of a wolf. Oh, I'm excited. Found the name of the song. I'm going to download it later. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein, who is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. Was it the masked stranger who tried to rescue me? Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but... Well, sanatorium. Gonna end up there, I guess, at some point. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, I'm just, just saying, share some this, moments that we'll they wouldn't be dead if it wasn't for Em. For for the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget all right yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh that's so pretty mento mori 10 hours until dawn all right well, I gotta make survive ten hours. Oh my god, I just got off the bus. Stop.
It's them, and his best friend is diligent, considerate, and brave. Hello? Someone there? Path to cable car station. Alright, pause. Everybody, I don't want this to get too long, but I am going to play this game through, and I hope you will all join me on this adventure and watch as everybody dies, probably, or survives, because I don't know how I'm going to be doing. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. If you liked what you saw, do me a favor and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, I'll see you next time.